Alright guys, how's it going? I made a very basic video last night and it was how to render out a transparent background. And I received a few comments on the video and one of the comments was how the hell can I save my alpha channel? Every other 3D software does this and you're correct and so does Blender. So we'll quickly jump into Blender. Now, excuse this amazing scene, I know you're blown away. And I'll enable transparency on the film. Now there's several ways to actually export out an alpha channel. If we jump into the compositing tab and we enable use nodes, straight off the bat you'll see we have several options. And we also have alpha in the render layers. So what we need to do here is we need to add search and we'll search for a file output node. We'll then take the alpha from the render layer and we'll put that into an image. If we select the node, we can actually come to items and drop down the properties. Now this is saving to a temporary path, but let's say I want to actually just call this alpha. We'll just rename it here and we'll leave everything basically on default for now. And we'll hit F12 to render. Now be blown away by this scene. Ooh. And I'll quickly jump into my temporary folder here. And you can see here, we now have the alpha map. So if I actually drop this onto Photoshop, that's how we get the alpha map, ideal for doing things like masking. Also keep in mind you can export out the alpha with the RGBA. Now if you're looking for something to control the depth of field, you're probably talking something like a Z depth. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter, I've got a few mates, you know what to do. Peace.